So maybe you have some GoPro footage that's just not working for you. Whether that may be the codec making your computer lag, maybe you forgot to turn HyperSmooth on and you have a bunch of shaky footage, or maybe the view just looks wonky with that fish eye effect and you wanna to try to correct that. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's a fix for all of that and much more. So I'm gonna show you how to convert your files and why you would do that. We're gonna fix that crazy fish eye footage. And also I'm gonna show you how to stabilize unstabilized footage. And by the way, you can do this with any camera, not just GoPros. Let me show you how. Master Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black, and I love to share with you cool gear that comes my way. If you're new here, don't be a stranger. Click that button, and you can find links to everything down in the description, plus a surprise link. So Vidproc, the same company that has that free editing software, I made a whole video about that. A lot of you watched it, and a lot of you downloaded it. How are you liking it? Yeah, good? Well, they have another software product called Videoproc Converter. And the software is free to download, and there's a lot of free aspects of it. But when you look at some of the features that you get with it, it might just be worth getting a lifetime license and just owning the product, especially at this price. The converter software gives you so many more features like the ability to make quick edits, cut, trim, crop, and rotate. You can add some video effects, watermarks. You can even turn your video into a GIF or GIF. You can capture your computer screen in three different modes with picture in picture. If you need to, you can convert and back up DVDs and you can download ultra high quality online videos from YouTube Facebook, and over a thousand sites. Like a lot of the time when I'm making a video, I reference a video that I've already made. It's a lot faster for me to just go to that YouTube video and download it in 4K versus plugging in my external hard drive and trying to find it there. And they're also adding new features all the time. But let's get back to the GoPro footage. First things first, converting the files. Now, why would you wanna convert files? Well, the GoPro uses the HEVC codec and their high quality video like 5K and 4K. And there's a lot of computers that might have problems with that codec and that might be one of the reasons you're editing with it and your computer gets bogged down and it looks a little bit laggy. So you can convert your HEVC files to H.264, which is a lot more compatible with older computers. So for example, I have my old 2016 MacBook Pro and I've recorded some 5K footage, HEVC, I've put it on here and when I'm trying to edit it, you can see how it just kind of jumps around. And of course we could do the LRV trick that I made a whole video about showing you how to do that, but this actually might be easier. So we're gonna open up the converter, we're gonna drag the file on and we're gonna go into format. I like to put it at the highest quality. Resolution you can choose up to 4K, or if you wanna keep it at 5K, you just put in the custom resolution. Video codec on H.264. I'm also gonna put the bitrate all the way up to 50,000. That seems to look the best. And then run. So this is just a one minute clip, and this is about how long it took, so it's not too bad. But check this out now, it runs a lot smoother on my old laptop it just works a lot better. So that definitely helps. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is remove that wonky fish eye effect. Now, a lot of the newer GoPros, they've done a lot better getting rid of that fish eye effect, but if you put it on like on Super View or Hyper View, you still see it. I mean, they're doing it on purpose. All right, so you see the shot right here. I have it on Super View. You can see like the trees and the posts are kind of a little bit bent. As soon as I get closer to it, you can see them kind of bent in because it's got that wide, the super wide angle lens to it. So we're gonna click on Toolbox and then click Fish Eye. Click on this button up here and we can start adjusting it. We're gonna fine tune it, mainly focusing on these bottom two here. And really in this video, I'm not really gonna try to do like a whole tutorial about it. There's a lot of really good ones out there. I mainly just wanna show you what the software is and why it's so good. And then, you know, you can discover it for yourself. So we're going to play around with these and uh, just try to make it look as best as we can. And it does a good job. Look at that. It's, it's fixed that uh, fish eye effect. I mean, it wasn't that bad to begin with because Superview is not too bad on these cameras, but uh, you know, sometimes it looks really wonky and this is a great way to fix that. All right, so now we're going to stabilize footage because we forgot to turn HyperSmooth on. But there's also another reason why you wouldn't have HyperSmooth on, maybe if it's low light, disable HyperSmooth and you can stabilize it later, which is cool. All right, so we're gonna click on the toolbox and then we're gonna click up here at the top of the de-shake button. And this will take some time to play around with. It also depends on your video. Sometimes it's better to have shorter clips that you're trying to stabilize. So we're gonna put the accuracy all the way up to 15 and then we're gonna adjust each one of these, just depending on how shaky that footage is. 
and you can stabilize your shaky footage. Now it's not gonna fix it entirely, really depending on how shaky your footage is, but it does a really good job. So that's kind of the cool GoPro bit of this software. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of other really cool ways that you can use it. You can download it for free. You can use the free trial and just play around with it and see if it's something that works for you. But that's it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. A lot of really cool stuff happening, some cool travels and uh, cool products to share with you. So I'll see you next time. Can we call you Uncle Blackie? No. Oh.